Hello students, today we are going to learn about the Miller indices. So we are knowing that every solid is composed of the atoms or the ions or the molecules and these ions or the molecules are arranged in a systematic manner. The two dimensional view is shown here. These atoms are arranged in a periodic manner. So this is two dimensional view. And in a crystal, there exist so many set of parallel planes with different spacing. Spacing means the perpendicular distance between the parallel planes. Here, this shown. So, in a crystal, there exist so many set of the parallel planes. This is one plane. This is the another plane. This is next plane. This is next plane. With a different spacing and the orientation also. Here. Now, how to, how to index? this plane, how to identify this plane and this is given by the scientist Miller. So the three dimensional Miller plane is drawn in these two figures. We can draw in this way or the in this way. So the x, y and z directions are shown here and consider the plane that is ABC here. Consider the plane ABC in this way or consider the these three axes x, y, z axis like this and consider this plane that is the ABC. This may be, this plane is nothing but ABC or ABC, ABC and so on here. So consider the one plane. So to determine here the Miller indices of the plane ABC, the following procedure is adopted or the applied. The first of all here, we will consider the first of all, we will consider the plane which does not pass through the origin. This is the origin that is 0, 0, 0, here 0, 0, 0. We should not consider the plane that is passes through the origin or here is nothing but the origin. So first of all we will consider to find the Miller indices of the plane. We choose the plane that should not pass through the origin. That is that should not pass through the origin. 0, 0, 0. This is the first. The second is nothing but here. Now we will determine the coordinate of that plane. So consider this is the plane that is ABC plane we have considered. Then you have to determine the coordinates of the intercept of this plane on three crystallographic axes X, Y, Z or here is nothing but X, Y, Z. And these coordinates along the we are knowing ABC are the lattice parameters. ABC are the lattice parameters. This is on X, this is on Y and this is on Z. These are the lattice parameters of the unit cell. So the unit cell made the intercept A along on the y x axis, B on the y axis and C on the x axis here. So we have to express this intercept, this again, intercept of this plane, determine the intercept, coordinates of this intercept made by that plane on the three crystallographic axis. That is here M1A. M1A is nothing but here the coordinate. M1A is nothing but coordinate on X or X here. The M2, M2B. M2B means here we are getting on Y axis and B is nothing but what here? The lattice parameter. So we have to M3, M2B is nothing but the coordinate of this plane on what here? The Y axis on y axis here on y and thirdly we have to determine m3c m3c is nothing but coordinate made by their plane on the z axis so first of all we consider the plane that should not pass through the origin the second determine the coordinates of the intercept of that plane made on the three crystallographic axis that is m1a m2b m3c here is nothing but m1a this is intercept this intercept M2B on the Y axis and M3C on the Z axis. Why the ABC are taken? Because these are the primitives of the unit set and the unit set made the intercepts on E on X, B on Y and C on Z. So we can take on here ABC and M1, M2, M3 are the integers. For example, if suppose this plane this is A, then this is 2A. If suppose this is 3A, then M1 is equal to 3. We are getting like this. This is, suppose, if this is C, 
twice c, thrice c, four c, m three is nothing but four, and so on. So we will take like this. So secondly, determine the coordinates of the intercept made by that plane on the crystallographic axis. That is like this. The third one is nothing but here. Now we have to determine the intercept in terms of unit cell parameters. Unit cell parameters means here this is a, this is b, and c. In terms of the unit cell parameters, we will convert their uh, coordinates of the intercept. So that is nothing but p. P is nothing but the intercept of that plane. In terms of unit cell parameters, it can be converted like this: m on a divided by a. This is nothing but here the intercept. Intercept. This is the intercept. Intercept of that plane on x. On x, in terms of unit cell parameters, unit cell parameters, the Q is nothing but here. The it is equal to m two b divided by the b. B r a b c r. This is the unit cell parameter. So this will be equal to here the intercept made by that plane on y axis. And r is nothing but here the m three c. Here the m three c divided by the c. Which is equal to intercept made by that plane on the z-axis. So, in order to determine the Miller indices of any plane, the, the plane should not pass through the origin. Second, determine the coordinates of that plane here. In the uh, coordinates of that plane, may, uh, co inter uh, coordinates of the intercept made by that plane here on the axis. Then we will convert that intercept coordinates. In terms of what here the intercept in terms of unit cell parameters, so this will be equal to m one a divided by a intercept on x axis, intercept on y axis, and so on. The fourth one is nothing but take the reciprocals, take the reciprocals of these intercepts, take the reciprocals of these intercepts. So it may be fractions here. So here we have to consider one upon p. Here is nothing but one upon q. Here is nothing but one upon R. So these are we have to take the reciprocal of the intercepts. One upon p, one upon q, one upon r. This is corresponding to x. This is y. This is z particularly. Now here it may be fractions. It may be fractions or maybe whole numbers. It may be fractions or the whole numbers or it may be the whole numbers. Here. Now fifth one. Clear the fractions. If here the fractions, then clear the fractions to get the smallest set of whole numbers. Here, if this, if these are the whole numbers, we uh, that are the Miller indices of their plane. If there are fractions here, then we have to clear the fractions. Clear the fractions to get here. Clear the fractions. Clear the fractions in the reciprocals. So, and it is done by multiplying by LCM. It is done by multiplying by least common factor. Multiply. So we are getting, then we are getting the smallest set of whole numbers. That smallest set of whole numbers is nothing but six one. That smallest set of whole numbers in this way we are getting are known as the Miller indices of that plane, and it is placed in the inner bracket without comma. HKL are general notations are used here to get the smallest set of, set of whole numbers. That is the HKL. HKL are the Miller indices of that plane here. It is also seen that these Miller indices seven here. These Miller indices are in the same ratio as the intercepts. So this is P sus Q sus R double sus here DH sus K sus N. So it is seen that the intercepts and the Miller indices are in the same proportions. The eight here, it is also seen that here, the parallel planes have the same Miller indices. For example, if suppose this is one zero zero plane we have considered, the parallel plane is two zero zero, two zero zero. Then next parallel plane like this, this is the planes here, and these planes. And here is nothing but origin. This is one zero zero plane, two zero zero plane. It is at twice uh, the length of the unit cell. This is thrice the length. It means here this is 
three zero zero plane here, and all these planes are represented by the like this bracket, and it is represented by here the one zero zero. So this gives rise to what here? The parallel planes have the same mirror indices, and the lowest set can be re represented. And if it is placed in this bracket, it gives rise to set of parallel planes here. And single bracket like this bracket, circular bracket we have taken, it gives only the one plane. But this bracket is taken, then it gives the set of parallel planes in one zero zero, two zero zero, three zero zero, and so on here. So this is the procedure to obtain the mirror indices. So what is the Miller indices? The Miller indices will be defined as the reciprocals of the fractional intercept made by that plane on the crystallographic planes reduced to uh, when reduced to a what here the set of smaller numbers. The Miller indices may be defined as here. How it can be defined? Miller indices can be defined as here the fractional intercept made by that plane. When reduced to the set of the smaller numbers. Now we will see the idea by considering the few planes in the cubic crystal structure. So crystal structure in figure in this side, the different planes are shown in case of the cubic crystal here. Now consider the shaded plane in the upper diagram here. So we will consider the shaded plane in this figure. So for me, after two, this plane is not passed through the origin. So this is the shaded plane here. It makes the intercept here on x, on x, on y, and the z here. The first we have to determine the intercept of this plane. So coordinates of these planes are here is nothing but 1, 0, 0 here. So we are getting like this. Now second determine the intercepts. Second, we have to determine the intercept that is it is these are the coordinates 1, 0, 0. Means 1 times here is nothing but a 1 times uh, here we have considered this unit cell. We have considered the unit cell and this value is nothing but 1. This value is nothing but also 1. This value is nothing but 1 unit here. All this 1 unit here along. So a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to 1 in this case. So here the p is equal to 1. So we will consider if this is p, q, and r. Then this is also the 1, this is 0, and this is the 0. Now take the reciprocal of this intercept third. So this will be the reciprocals 1, 1 divided by 1, 1 divided by 0, 1 divided by 0. So we uh, so we uh, so something is wrong here. So first of all, we have to determine the intercept made by this plane. So along here the x-axis, it cuts the intercept at one distance. So this is the one. And along the y direction and the z direction, this plane is parallel. So what we have to get is intercept we are getting at the infinity. It is parallel. So we are getting here the infinity here. Now the coordinates is also same. We are getting this is P, Q, and R. We are getting that is 1, the infinity, and the infinity. Because the unit cell, we have considered this uh, plane in case of the unit cell. So this, this is 1, this is the 1 dimension, this is uh, the 1 unit also. So we can like this. So take the reciprocal. Reciprocals we are getting 1 upon 1, 1 upon infinity, 1 upon infinity. That is 1 upon infinity. This is, that is, here is nothing but 1, 1 upon infinity 0, here the 0. So we are getting smallest set of whole numbers. As the fractional, there are no fractional intercepts and therefore 1, 0, 0 is the Miller indices of the shaded plane. Similarly here, in case of the second plane here, consider this plane makes the intercepts of, makes the intercepts of here the 1, here on x, 1 and so on the y direction and it is parallel to the z. So this will be equal to 1 and here is nothing but what here? The infinity here. So the intercept in terms of unit cell remain same. We have considered these coordinates for the unit cell. So uh, unit dimensional cell. So this will be equal to 1, 1 and the infinity. Take the reciprocals then 1 upon 1, 1 upon 1 and 1 upon infinity. 
So that is here we are getting 1, 1 and the 0. So as the uh, reciprocal intercept does not hold on those we are getting, this is the uh, metal indices of the shaded plane in this figure 110. Similarly here, the shaded plane, 1, 1 plane is shown here, the plane intercept at 1 on x, 1 on y, 1 on z. So definitely 1, 1, 1 is nothing but the crystal plane, the crystal uh, metal indices of that plane. Now we have to consider the last figure here. So this plane, consider this plane, shaded plane, which intercept has one unit. This is total one and one is divided into three parts. So out of one part it is intercept, so one by three here. The second on B here, on, on the one uh, the x axis, it is uh, one portion is taken, your one division is taken, here is two divisions is taken and it is all three. 3 by 3 means 1 here. So 1 by 3, with the total, this 1 unit can be divided into 3. Out of that, 1 portion is taken 1 by 3. Here the 2 portions are taken, so 2 by 3 and here is nothing but 1. So the intercept made by coordinates, made by that plane are here, the 1 by 3 on x, here 2 by 3 on y and on z, this is 1. Now, as it is uh, unit dimensional, so the PQR means same. PQR, we are getting the same that is 1 by 3. PQR 2 by 3 and here is 1. Take the reciprocals of this. So 3 by 1 we are getting. Here is nothing but 3 by 2 and here is nothing but 1 by 1 means 1 here we are getting. So here the 3 by 2, this is nothing but the fractional. Fractional intercepts are not allowed. To clear the fraction, this fraction 3 by 2, we have to multiply all these by 2 to clear this fraction. So multiplying by here the 2, we are getting here 6, here is nothing but 3 and here is nothing but 2. So now we are getting this uh, smallest set of whole numbers by multiplying by 2, means it is the LCM of this here and multiplying by 2, we are getting 6, 3, 2. So the 6, 3, 2 are the visual indices of the shaded plane in the in this figure. So in this way, the Miller indices of any plane can be uh, uh, defined or can be calculated with the help of the, this procedure and this procedure is given by the scientist Miller. So the Miller gives the indices of the crystal planes and the procedure we have seen and this is important for indexing the crystal planes as far as uh, uh, to determine the crystal structure of any material or non material we can define uh, the crystal planes in this way and some applying some analysis we can index all the crystal planes reflecting planes in the crystal so that can be seen in details in the next chapter the x-ray diffraction pattern so in the next lecture we will see some examples on the middle indices. Okay, thank you.